and you'll see export kit Android UI now what we can do is actually navigate through our Android app because we added the link tag to the next button so if we actually press it this is our other activity you'll see the different support for the individual layers and how export kit treats it with Android we can go to our next screen what you'll see is the tech support so this is our different justification along with our character styles if we go to our next screen shape support this is our different effect support and this is our actual layer styles applied to our individual layers all from our PSD design now again this is something that is done from your Photoshop file so any GUI changes or graphical changes what you can do is actually edit it directly in your PSD and this will be reflective in the output hi my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to export kit in this example I'll be demonstrating a Photoshop PSD to Android export using the suite version 127 now this is a sneak peek of our Android support you'll note off the bat that what we're using is a CSS screen Android is very screen dependent so and I'll show you this in another tutorial where you must actually declare each individual screen for Android to work correctly and this is because Android supports a vast amount of devices so what we're gonna do is take a look at each individual page that we've also assigned in this project our pages in our Android export work slightly different similar to HTML pages what they will create is additional activities in your actual uh, Android application so what we can do is basically define uh, several activities in our, our app and it will actually export each of these and we'll see how this runs in the output but you'll see here what we have is our index we also have another elements and you can take a look at that quickly we have another text and we have another shapes effects and a few styles so let's go over each of them independently now you'll see in our main screen this is just basically comprised of an image and what we did is this is text but we basically converted it to an image uh, with a layer tag this is because Android does not have full uh, effect support for all layers now our next page what this is is basically our element support so what you can do is in the output take a look at the resource files for the strings also the colors and the various image files and again when this does export we will take a look at each individual section now our text segment um, or actually activity this will show basically how we deal with uh, justification of the text in Android and also various character styles our shapes basically show our shape support and this is for rectangle round rectangle and ellipse our effects and again Android does not support all layer effects natively um, you do have to do a couple band-aids so we're working on ways that we can support more effects but for text we support drop shadow out outer glow and color overlay for shapes we support stroke color fill and gradient and we also have our CSS styles now this is our normal styling uh, if you take a look here we actually have our CSS styles denoted where what this will do is actually work with Android to create custom styles in Android so basically you can denote individual styles on elements and they will be reused um, depending on what you've defined so if we go ahead and export this and let's just uh, close this off let's make sure each screen is visible what this will do is basically create our entire Android project for Eclipse now once the exports complete we can take a look at our output so what we're gonna need for this is we're gonna need the Android SDK um, right now we're using Eclipse and uh, basically we can just import our project directly so if we check our output you'll note the folder Android what you can do is just copy this folder path go back into Eclipse right click and import choose existing project paste the directory and you'll see your projects if you have multiple they'll all basically show and finish and what this will do is import your project into Eclipse now there are a few common errors that you might encounter uh, one of them might be if you note in the problems that it says that R cannot be resolved uh, this is because the Java runtime did not get rendered with the project itself so a quick way to fix this is basically to just restart Eclipse and it will re-register your Java runtime another way to do this is to right click on your project go to build path and add libraries and what you can do is basically add your J 
JRE library and you select your environment and you can choose now um, depending on what Java runtimes you have installed so we can go back and check our project you'll see that it has no actual errors there are a couple warnings uh, depending on how you've structured your PSD file now if we take a look at the resources you'll see that we have a couple drawable folders our no DPI folders this is our basic shapes um, because shapes don't really they're DPI independent so if we look at one of our shapes uh, we can actually take a look at a few of them you'll see that it does create your full shape uh, dependent on what you've done in your PSD layer and this is one with gradient if we look at our actual drawables these are created per screen so if we defined additional screens in our actual Photoshop PSD you would have a drawable for each of those screens so what it will do is actually resize your images for you this way you don't have to worry about the densities of each image so if we go through them really quick now the next thing you'll get is your layout dependent on your screen and again this is depending on what screens you have defined if you have all your screens defined then it will basically support all devi all devices or you can uh, be very specific and support Android TV only or Android wearables only this way you can make your app uh, very personalized and customizable so if we look at the layouts that it defined uh, and we go back to our Photoshop really quick you'll see that we have our individual pages here and to note our layout is 320 dp and this is reflective in our actual project you'll see that it uses 320 dp now our individual layouts uh, if we go to them really quick you can see that it does create our full ui file in xml it's very clean and very clear and it's readable so you can basically edit it uh, as, as quickly as you want each link is accessible so you'll notice here that we have the drawable shape so you can edit your shapes independently or your actual layouts uh, if we go back really quick uh, we also have a few other values stored so for instance you'll note that in some uh, it will say the colors that it uh, it defines uh, let's actually take a look at one really quick right here color and this is actually reflective in our colors XML so what export kit will do is basically save all your layer colors in your actual colors XML this is also inclusive of your string so all your text layers the string content is actually saved to your string files now we also support our styles if you note in our PSD let's go back and take a look at that really quick our styles here what we did was we defined three independent styles red shadow uh, boxes icon and blue box and we basically want them to apply to this blue box here uh, this is going to be the actual boxes icon and this is the text that we want to apply our style to so in our output and don't worry about that you can just see here if we actually go you'll see that this is each of the styles that it rendered so if we go back to our actual rendering and we take a look at the graphical layout Let's just open this so it's a bit larger. You'll see that it does render each individual element from our PSD file. Now to note that we do have our title here and this is basically in Photoshop what we support also are your document metadata. Uh, so this is something and you'll see in all our examples that we do have this filled in. If you push Control Shift Alt and I, this is in Windows, what you'll get is your basic metadata. So if you add a document title, this will be reflective in your actual Android output and that will be the name of the application. So if we go back to our project again, uh, we can take a look at a few additional screens. So let's look at the styles. Don't worry if the content loader fails. So it'll tell you right here that the target is not set. This is because the JRE has failed uh, basically while we're actually testing. So let's go back and let's add that and let's uh, load another oh it's still failing that sucks well what we're gonna have to do is actually restart Eclipse for Android to load and then we can go back and view them again now once more this is a common Eclipse bug that it will actually not reflect the correct JRE path so you may have to do this a few times uh, if you're familiar with developing for Android this is something it's very common and very typical uh, the fastest way to fix it is just restart Eclipse 
So if we go, we take a look at uh, this is our actual styles activity. So we can look at the XML really quick. So you'll see this is our UI for it. If we look at the graphical layout. you'll see that what it did is it applied our styles to our actual content and if we go and let's look at uh... per se effects let's look at the XML really quick again still loading well you get the picture you can test it for yourself when you get a chance okay so it's actually finished the rendering so you'll see that all the elements are placed based on our PSD design now the next thing that you want to check is the source now again we did create multiple activities so what it does is it actually creates your Java file for each activity now you'll see that all the objects that we denoted in our actual layers uh, so right now we're looking at the effects so if we go back to our effects PSD well actually our PSD and we look at our effects page you'll see that these are the layers that we actually have in our Photoshop file so stroke and we go back to our project we have stroke and if we find stroke you'll see that this is the view and it's using this shape so if we go back to our activity you'll also note that what we have is basically a click listener and what this will do is set an, an intent in Java or will actually Android itself an intent is basically used uh, similar as a web link so what we're doing is we're saying that the styles activity link is basically going to change uh, the activity in our PSD file this is reflective of our actual elements where we added a link tag with our link tags for Android you don't have to define any extensions what it will do is actually reflect an activity so we have a styles activity we're linking to that activity and this is also uh, transparent if we go for instance to our element screen what we're doing is we're linking to our text activity which is basically the next screen so what this will do in the output is actually change our screens when we press each button so let's go back to the project um, We can just take a look at the Java really quick on each page and again this is all reflective of what you've done in your actual PSD file itself export kit will just produce your entire project for you now if we uh, basically enable a device so right now we're going to use a 480 DPI because that's the screen size that we targeted in Photoshop just note that here so let's start this let's scale it so that should be visible uh, actually let's see if we can make it a little bit bigger okay so we're gonna have to wait for Android to load and through the magic of video uh, we'll skip this if you develop Android apps you'll note that there is a slight loading time for Android once the emulator starts what we can do is basically just uh, install our actual APK so let's just go ahead and make sure it's not unlock so let's unlock it okay and let's go ahead and install so we set up a run configuration so this is just an Android application with the name of the actual project and the target we're prompting to pick a device so let's just pick our currently running emulator it's installing and you'll see export kit Android UI now what we can do is actually navigate through our Android app because we added the link tag to the next button so if we actually press it this is our other activity you'll see the different support for the individual layers and how export kit treats it with Android we can go to our next screen what you'll see is the tech support so this is our different justification along with our character styles if we go to our next screen shape support this is our different effect support and this is our actual layer styles applied to our individual layers all from our PSD design now again this is something that is done from your Photoshop file so any GUI changes or graphical changes what you can do is actually edit it directly in your PSD and this will be reflective in the output 
so you'll see quick and easy Photoshop PSD files to full-blown Android projects in a matter of minutes.